This is our second hack day, and the level of innovation has been beyond our expectations. 300 people participated, making up 44 teams. We also branched this out to other divisions throughout the Walt Disney Company. I'm really excited to see the different products that are becoming out of this. Got all of uh, Solana Beach, Salt Lake City, so you can track what's going on. We've got our Slack channel up for real live time communications with everybody who's out hacking there. The contact points that we have to solder onto are extremely small. So, I mean, this is designed to be put together by a real life factory. We've seen some amazing products, primarily bridging the digital and physical worlds. In fact, some of them were focused on STEM. We're trying to come up with a physical toy that little girls can use to play. And so this app is going to tell you where in space this Lego is going to be placed, going to be built, and a castle will eventually come to life. Our Hack Day idea was inspired by helping guests that may have disabilities um, engage with our games or not, or control, maybe use the, your mood to control the environment of a game you're playing. DCPI. We decided to create a way to easily transport people into those stories. And so today, we want to show you what we've been working on. The coolest thing about this year was the diversity. You had people that were in tech, people that are in art, people that are in business development, people that are in strategy, all come together to put the hacks together. And that was really wild. We're all so great. We all had our roles and worked together and made it happen. And we just had a great time doing it. Uh, getting to collaborate with people that I don't always work with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think it turned out really well, and I'm glad we did it.